most of you know, the world is coming to a end. And so much stuff is happening right now that it's literally insane. And I haven't posted a video in, I don't even know how long. I just know it's been a long time. But I thought like I should make a video, kind of update you all what's going on with my life here. It's literally just a lot has happened and it's just been really crazy. And I just really haven't had the time to actually just sit down and make a video that actually was like worth posting and like a video that you guys would actually watch. So, in side to that, I thought I would talk about something that's really serious right now, which is this coronavirus. And whether you're on the spectrum of this is crazy, not, you know, not everybody's flipping out about it, it's completely normal, or the fact that you're, you know, you're the one that's buying everything in the store, you're stocking up, like whatever side you're on, cool, whatever you do, you. At the end of the day, we have to all consider one thing, that this is a pandemic and the stuff is happening. Like we do have to be prepared and we do have to be aware of what's going on. Like check up on each other, wash your hands, clean your room. When's the last time you wiped out a door handle? Like just think about little stuff like that, okay? But uh, right now I am actually on my way to Walmart because my mom, ordered groceries and they're going to be here Sunday but we actually need a few things that we need right now like just in case we get locked out because in my state there's like over like 127 cases or something like crazy like that uh, people who have tested positive for this uh, virus so we just have this feeling that you know we're going to be quarantined pretty soon and also because with that being said, um, all schools are closed and you can't go inside restaurants. Like my little brother's school is closed until May 1st. So like, there's really not a lot you can do with that besides, you know, be prepared. So I think that's what's most important is to really focus on yourself. And with this time you being quarantined, not being out with the world and social distancing, I think it's important to distract yourself from the outside world and really focus on yourself mentally. Like take care of yourself, like take a bath if you want or read a book or watch a new movie. Like really focus on your mental health right now. I know being indoors sucks and enclosure is really scary. And I know for me and my anxiety, being home all the time isn't always a good thing. I need that fresh air. I need that sense of reality sometimes so I think in all seriousness though we have to really focus on our mental health because we can't control this virus right now but we can control our mental health and we can control our health to a degree obviously you know you can't control anxiety or PTSD or really any other uh, mental disorder or illness you can't really control that but you can help yourself by taking care of yourself you know what I mean and right now like my anxiety is like through the roof and I'm on freaking 100 milligrams of Prozac like it's not like I'm not taking care of myself because I am and um, it's just crazy that's really it it's just insane to think about what is going on right now and actually like how we treat people like I'm about to go inside this Walmart and I'll tell you right now I'm terrified actually because I don't want someone to freaking I find a roll of toilet paper for existence you know we have plenty of toilet paper for now and someone try to fight me over it if that's the case have it if you if you're stealing something if you're trying to fight me over some freaking Clorox wipes and you know what ma'am you you have it you know so I think that's the thing is I'm just going to see what I can get because I we got a lot of the stuff coming on Sunday, but we just forgot a few odds and end things that we need. So that's what I'm here to get and I'm a little terrified and I really don't think they're going to have anything. Like I probably am going to have to go to another store or stores, but I just thought Walmart, let's, you know, try and they're literally, I see the parking lot. They're so busy. Like every parking spot is full. Like, this is going to be insane. Holy crap. I mean, and another thing is a lot of people off work. Like, I, um, my work isn't 
high and nobody is working right now at my work so it's like I'm not even working at the moment so there's really nothing I can do like but I have bills be need to be paid and I can't work like, I don't know how that's gonna work out um, I'm very fortunate to have my parents and have them help me and but I know a lot of people don't have that a lot of people don't have another support system a lot of people don't have you know that's just not how it is and that's what really sucks right now is not everybody's able to take care of themselves because of money and because of jobs and being sick like it's literally just crazy out there so i just advise everybody at the moment to really just think about themselves and the fact of mental health but also think about other people and really try to be there for somebody because you never know what someone's going through and you never know what you know what the world's gonna come to after this are we gonna be stuck are we like we don't know no one knows what's going on right now so I'm just like saying take care of yourself and take care of each other because at the end of the day we only have ourselves and excuse me ducks or these sorry I call them ducks they're just oh shiza there's a freaking parking spot right there and I just missed it Let's just save it for the people. Closer spots to the people who need it. Come on. Okay. All right. Well, let's go inside. I will. I'm probably gonna. I'll try to record as much as I can. But I don't want. There's a lot of people in here, so I don't want to record people who don't obviously don't want to be recorded. So I'm gonna do the best I can. So let's go see what we can find. Hello everyone. So since I last talked to everybody, I was at Walmart during the crisis and it was crazy and it was so packed and I couldn't find anything and then I get back home and later that night I start to feel bad. Like really, really bad. So yeah, I quarantined myself and I was like running fever. I had all the symptoms of the coronavirus but um Unfortunately, in my state, they're not testing everyone, so there wasn't even a point of me, like, I was safer just to stay inside. And uh, my doctor gave me, uh, prescribed me Tamiflu, and I just finished that two nights ago. So I've actually, like, this is my first day I've woken up with no fever, like, I feel fine, besides my throat hurts a little bit, and my, like, sinuses keep draining, but I will take that. So I'm feeling so much better. That was horrible that was just not a fun time for me at all and I have really just been like it's been so so hard like not to go outside not to do anything just to be inside your house and I don't know how other people are handling this right now I can't, unfortunately can't go to work because of this so it's like I'm stressed out due to bills and just due to not having any income you know and not being able to do anything even if i just wanted to walk around the mall or you can go outside and you can't you you're allowed to go outside but they just recommend you not go outside and with me being sick and me just you know kind of getting over this i wouldn't want to do that anyways so i've just been hanging out you know i haven't really been doing anything Besides just like watching TV, watching Netflix series, and watching movies, um, eating a lot of food, and I've just been feeling really, really crappy, really bummy. But um, I just want to say that my heart goes out to all the families and kids and animals, literally everybody out there that's going through this and how hard it is, and for all the people that school was their getaway they school was a place for them to escape home or from reality or just 
was their safe place with school. So my heart really goes out to those uh, students because um, I don't know your home life and I don't know what goes on, but I know that I, I feel for you and I'm very sorry that this is happening. And I know all these seniors who may or may not get a graduation or they don't get to play their final games or they don't get to go to prom or everything. Like, it's just my little brother, this was his last year of middle school. Um, anyways, sorry, I had a phone call, but yeah, so life's just been pretty weird and pretty crazy and just really, I don't know, it's just, I think everybody right now mentally is not doing so great. I think we're all just struggling and trying to figure out what is actually going on and what we can do and fake news and there's so many other things happening and it's just, wow, that's just a lot. Like the world right now is a scary place and it's, we don't know. Like we don't know what tomorrow is going to be. We wake up and there's something worse. We wake up and there's another death and there's more cases confirmed in your you know, and so I think it's really hard for us to stay positive and, you know, keep going and keep moving when we have all these negative things affecting us. And someone like me who struggles with anxiety and has uh, PTSD, has depression, literally has a lot of million things wrong, that things like this, little things like, they just come into play and it really affects it affects me. I know it affects a lot of other people that are going through this right now. And my heart just goes out to them and that I care for that. I care for everyone. I love everyone. And I just want everyone to maybe take this time for mental health. You know, take a bath, color, paint something, um, write a song, sing a song, start a YouTube channel, start a blog, write a book. Like, that's what I would really focus on right now is yourself because... That's what we need to do. And this YouTube video is just kind of weird and all over the place. And I'm sorry, but I just, I haven't posted in forever. And it's just, yeah. But I love all of you. And I love all of you that watch my YouTube videos. And that, you know, have been here through my, literally all my struggles in life. So, um, an update. Um, Willie, if you guys know, my hamster Willie, he passed away last week. And we aren't sure why. So that's very sad and I've been dealing with that. But I got a new hamster. Her name's Maisie. She's a robo, robo hamster. And she's very cute. I love her. But yeah, that's, that's life. That's what I've been doing and that's how I've been handling it. And we'll just see where it goes. But um, I love you all, and uh, I promise I'm going to keep posting more. It's just I've been in a little of a fog, and I've had no motivation, and I don't want to post content that's not worth it. So I love you all. Thank you for watching me like you always do. Thank you so much, and I hope you all stay healthy. Please, 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 please wash your hands, clean your room, spray while I saw, take a bath, take a shower. Wipe down your phone and your remote, you know, clean, you know, wash your bed sheets. You know, just take care of yourself. And I love you all. And thank you all for watching. So, um, yeah. I will see you when I see you.